coming here was a bit of a culture shock for me. And at, at times, sometimes it feels like no one understands where you're coming from because everybody comes from a different background. So I, I think it's, it's a struggle for different minorities here on campus. But as I said before, it's getting better. As a Jewish student, I chose to come here because I knew that this um, was one of the Jesuit values of um, men and women for others and being inclusive of all people no matter um, what their background is. Coming here, I was a little hesitant at first just because I knew I'd probably be one of very few students. So I've had some moments on campus uh, where, where people, I, I hear students use uh, derogatory terms like that's so gay or something like that. That's obviously offensive. I don't know if students always realize uh, that something like that is considered a slur. Everyone is clicky as with any place. Everybody has their group of people and that's our problem. We just like to stay on our side with our people. Talking about the diversity is one thing, but actually taking part in actions to promote diversity is even more important. Uh, the challenge always is to help students to step outside of their comfort zone. And when we start talking about what talking about what makes us uncomfortable, that's when we can we can be better. That's when we can do better. I think diversity is like a tattoo. It hurts real good, right? Um, and it's one of those things you have. There, there's a little bit of struggle there, and it's okay to go through that struggle. It's okay to say, you know, I, I don't understand you, or I don't understand where you're coming from, or, or you don't understand me, uh, and being upfront about it. And I think sometimes our students might be reluctant to do that because they think it's impolite in some way. Uh, and there's a way to do this, I think, that's you know very respectful and very polite uh, and, and collegial. We needed to respect and embrace people who have different background, who look different, who have different opinions from us. That is very important. Respect, not just simply tolerant. In order to grow, we can't stay in our boxes or else we can't, we can't move forward in life. We can't move forward in learning without learning about others. Promoting diversity is promoting social justice, which is a very important part of our Jesuit educational tradition. I mean, again, there's sort of lofty reasons and philosophical reasons about why we should respect and embrace diversity, but just for, uh, if nothing else, very practical reasons. Our, our students are going to go out and they're going to work in companies and, and organizations and, and communities uh, where they are going to be not many people like themselves, frankly. To be able to interact with people of different backgrounds and cultures, uh, no matter where we are in the country or in the world, is something that's uh, useful to us. The, uh, the world is a diverse place, our, our nation is a diverse nation, and uh, that's our, our wealth as a community, uh, that's our wealth as a human race. Just be involved, use every situation, uh, good or bad, as a learning uh, experience and try and teach other people about different cultures that they might not be aware of. Join different clubs that you would never join. Um, we have a Muslim Students Association, Asian, Asian Students Association, along with Kadima. This will spur each person's imagination. This will. Uh, awaken each, in each person new creativity and, and uh, new curiosity. Uh, diversity itself is a tonic uh, for the soul. I think it starts as cheesy as it may sound with a hello.